Hello boys and girls. Today I will be showing you how to draw a bulldog step by step. So here is my example. You can see it's kind of a holiday bulldog. There's one. And there's another example. He has a sweatshirt on, but it kind of looks a little summery out. So the background and what you do to your bulldog you're gonna make your own and do something individual and special to you. But I'll be going through the basic steps on how to draw our bulldog today. We're gonna to be doing this for the Square One fundraiser. So everyone will get a piece of paper like this and the first thing you're going to be doing is writing your name in the top. Your first name is listed right here. Can you see the boxes above where it says first name? You're gonna write one letter in each box for your first name. There's my first name. And then you're gonna write one letter for each box for your last name underneath. Under that, we have a word that says grade. And your grade is fifth grade. After that, it says teacher. You're going to be writing your classroom teacher's name in that space. And then where it says school name, under that, you'll be writing Birchwood. Okay, we're going to start with the eyes of our bulldog. And so that we have enough room for a background and a hat if we want a hat, we're gonna be putting our eyes in the center of our page. So in the center of your page, is this the center? No, you're gonna to move to the center of your page and you're going to draw two small circles about the size of a dime. After you do that, then you can use your Sharpie to outline your circles. I'm gonna add an arch above each circle, try to make my dog look a little more like it has dog eyes. There we go. And then with my Sharpie, I'm going to add two circles, which are going to be the highlights for my dog's eyes. Now remember, during this tutorial, watch me first and then you draw. You can always stop the video if I'm going too fast. you have done that, I'm going to be drawing the nose. And the shape of the nose is a triangle. It looks like it's upside down, just like that. Now, I like to call this soft corners. We're going to do a curved line on each corner. So it looks like a natural nose shape. And then, just like with the eyes, I'm going to color mine black. You could make the nose pink if you want. It's up to you. Now, I'm going to be drawing the snout. The snout is the part of the dog's face that the nose is attached to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw around. See how I go around the nose? Looks like a big rainbow right above the nose. I'm gonna draw a line down from the nose. And then I'm gonna draw a line going this way and a line going that way. There's my bulldog snout. I gotta get the bottom of his chin. So it looks like he has a mouth. Or her. Now I'm gonna switch to pencil because I will be erasing because I want to put a nice winter hat on my bulldog. So above the eyes, I'm going to draw a curved line just like this. And then I'm going to draw a line down to the bottom of the snout. Try to make it the same space over here. And then a bulldog's ears kind of flop over a little bit, an English bulldog. If you want to make a French bulldog, their eyes, their ears are going to point up. And an English bulldog's ears kind of flop over like that a little bit. 
Now, if I want to add a hat to my bulldog, I'll give him some droopy eyebrows. There we go. Then I have to go inside of the head right here. So I'm going to draw a line. It's going to just be right in the forehead of my bulldog. And then I want to kind of create I think what I'll do is I'll draw a line over here, make it a little floppy, and then I'm going to make a big pom-pom over here. There. And if I want to add some texture to this, I can kind of draw some lines. look like it's sweater material. There you go. Maybe we'll make this look a little bit like a weave too. How am I going to do that like this? There we go. Some dots. So it looks like somebody took a long time knitting this beautiful hat for this bolt hog. Now I'm going to go over the ears so that you can see them with the Sharpie. There you go. So the head is just about done. Of course, you can always add a few wrinkles if you want. I'll do that with a crayon later. Now it's time to add the rest of the body. What you're going to do is on each side of the head, you're going to draw a line down, but not all the way to the bottom of the page. This side, draw a line down. And at the bottom of these lines, we are going to be drawing the paws. The way that I draw a paw is I draw it's called a scalloped line. So that means it's curved, and then it goes to a point, and then you add another curve, and then you add another curve. And then you're gonna carry this last line up part way in the body. Let's repeat that on the other side. You can try to make things the same size, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same size. Carry that up. Okay, my next step is to draw the body. Now, this is our paw, the bottom of the page. This is the closest thing to the viewer, which means our body is going to be a little bit higher on your page. Just like that. Now I add the back legs by drawing a line on this side and a line on this side. And I'm going to draw the back paw by doing the same thing, the scalloped line. Just like that. Curve, curve. And you can add a little bit of lines to make it look like the paws are separated. Now I left a little bit of a blank space here because I wanted to add a scarf on my bulldog. So what I do to do that is at the head, I'm going to draw a big bulky scarf stop so that I have room for the tie, the end of the scarf to come down. And then I'm going to draw one on this side, just like that. To have the end of the scarf come down so it looks like it's wrapped around your neck. We're going to draw two vertical lines. We can curve them a little bit. And then we'll do a zigzag line. Now remember, this is your artwork. So anytime you want to change something, if you want to change the hat, or you want to not have a scarf, maybe you want a sweater on your bulldog, you can do whatever you want. This is your artwork. You can also add whatever kind of background you want. When I draw a background, I add a line that goes horizontal across my page. This is called the horizon line. 
but we don't want the horizon line to go in front of our bulldog because he's in the front. So I'm going to carry this line, skip over my bulldog, and go to the other side. Because it is a winter scene, I think I'll add some mountains in the background. Some spiky mountains. Here we go. Maybe I'll add some trees, evergreens. Add one on this side. You can add whatever you want. Be creative, be original, make your artwork your own. Okay, maybe I want a little snowman in the background. He has his own scarf. Time to color. I'm going to be coloring with crayon. You can color with colored pencil, markers, whatever you have at home that can add a little bit of color. When I do color with a drawing material like crayons, I try to press hard with my crayon at the edge and press lightly. when I want my crayon to look like there's light shining on something or there's a highlight on something. Okay, I think I'm going to make my bulldog different shades of brown. Don't forget, before I continue coloring, to write your name on your artwork. You don't want your name too close to the edge. So what I always tell my students to do is write your name a long part of your drawing. Maybe if you have room on the horizon line, I'm going to do mine on my bulldog. You have your name at the top of your paper, but you want your name on your actual artwork. This is called an artist's signature. So that you always are claiming your artwork. Boys and girls, I can't wait to see what you create. Uh, remember, you can do whatever you want in the background. Remember to put your name and try to do a neat job. Can't wait to see it.